Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, more swing fixes coming out here. Look at this, they are multiplying. Treated. We've got a woolly buzzer. <laughs> The woolly mammoth that is buzzer out of his pyjamas, I'm pleased to see at last, after his Dubai trip. And we've got Coach Lockie. Hi guys. The Coach Lockie is in Da House, swing fixing. Fans. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his army is cheering. So we've got another swing sent through the app. We've got, I think, issues with grip, which might compromise issues with loft, which we'll discuss openly in this open, discussing, sunny forum that I've created. <laughs> Let's get stuck in. Right guys, here we go, you see the swing here. What I see, personally, is, I can't see if the ball's going left or right high, or, well, I think it's going low, but I can't see if it's cutting or not. It looks low, doesn't it? I mean, from the 2D image we've got, we're kind of speculating a bit, but I would suggest he hits it low. Um, I personally think his right hand's in the wrong place. The way I see that is when we take it to that parallel position, the club is turned down, but his right hand hasn't come on top. It's actually still almost this side of the club. It's quite heavily down as well. Yeah, which means at this point is at the start point, if I twist that back, it must be And you'd expect underneath. it almost to be cupped when you if he'd done it with the other hand. Yeah, but if it's a neutral grip to get the face to where he would, like you say, you would have to yeah, be and, doing and that. And he's certainly not doing that. Absolutely so not, absolutely not. So not. if he puts that rotation in, what might that do to the loft at delivery mat for him to hit the straight shot that appears that he's hitting? D-loft there. Absolutely, why is that going to show us? Why is that happening? Basically, it's gone to camera's good, that's it. Um, if he's having to square this club face up, yeah, he's having to push his handle forward, okay, yeah, absolutely. Lofting it a lot. So, if he wants to get his face working in relationship to a path, whatever that is, if he puts that rotation in, Matt is saying, which I agree, that handle's gonna have to go forward to get it in relationship to or close to a path or within a few degrees of a path like he would want to, otherwise, the ball's just gonna go left. If you do that, like you're saying, the loss just sacrificed, isn't it? Low bullets. Absolutely. So what we, what, what's the fix? Is there a fix? What would you do? Well, in terms of equipment, like if it, he's a driver, isn't it? He yeah, he's hitting a where, driver. Um, he needs loft. Possibly, so you, yeah. So you could kind of, you could kind of get so, away with not changing the grip and changing the club. If he's hitting the ball to a good stand, we don't know his handicap, let's pretend he's yeah. hitting it to a good standard. You're saying, I mean, Cravada, not Cravada. So who's the guy? Oh, Ki no, no, who's the guy who won recently, Does used to do the silly lining up a putting? Oh, Vajegas. Vajegas yeah. has a 13 degree driver. Yeah. He has a strong grip. Yeah, yeah. And you watch pictures of him, he has his handles way forward at impact. Mm -hmm. Why would you change a world-class player? So what they've done, and him and his coach or his manufacturer, whatever, of up the loft from the start to compensate it. Because you need a certain amount of dynamic loft presented full stop, just the world of physics demand that you launch the ball at certain angles with certain spin to max distance. So there's a million ways you can get to that number. There's no right or wrong. So maybe change the loft, that's a good idea. What if he wants to change? What, what order would you do that? Let's say he says, no, I'm not happy that my grip is not where it's meant to be. Not that that's true, but let's pretend he's thinking that. What, what would you do? How would you change it? What order? I mean, I would be starting with grip. Yeah, grip's yeah. got to be the first. Isn't so it? if he changes the grip, then what must he do at impact to make sure the ball doesn't go into those gardens on the right? Get yeah, a little bit of a blocky up. lesson. Yeah, it is. Blocky lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good at this one, guys. Well, I am now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is basically get this club head catching up. Okay, so really, yeah. Uh, yeah, go on. in with the shaft. Yeah up even feel like it's overtaking and that's something you're feeling isn't it at the moment is you're actually feeling like it's overtaking yeah. it's not overtaking but that's the feeling the sentence that we use to get you yeah. to not deliver the handle so far forward mm -hmm. so you don't have to put that little gamma rotation yeah. in and when you often don't put that in that's when you get your straight blocks yeah. hashtag blocky Block. <laughs> and would, and would, uh, would, okay. you, would you try and get him completely neutral or do you think there's probably a middle ground for this player uh, it's a good question yeah I, I would play with him yeah. I say, I totally agree. I say to them, we're going to play. So these next batch of shots, there's no, I don't care where they're going. I'm literally going to just experiment with you to see where I can push you and where I can't. Some people, you tell them to do it, like you say, kind of all the way to a standard neutral grip. And you can see they're just hating it so much. You think, well, he plays once a week. You know, he's got a family, works. This ain't any, gonna be any fun, he's not gonna change that. So why don't we work within the parameters that he could change to? And some people, they change it straight away and you can see that they've done it before. I used to grip this way. I don't know why I've ever changed it. And you just let them fly with it. Fly, my pretty fly. That's comfy. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. yeah, absolutely. Well, well. Why are we doing yeah. the other one? And, and with, with the bottom hand, when it's strong, I sometimes, I like to give them 
I'd say we'll get it more in the fingers. Totally agree. People tend to like that feeling. Yeah. So rather than feeling like you're having to yank it across, Correct. actually get more in the fingers and it will give you that feeling of how you need to release it a bit more. So that might also. I totally agree. It's a good point. So I think Steve's saying kind of get the feeling of putting it down there. Often this is a gross stereotype, but it is, it, I see this often. When you teach tradesmen, Okay, so people who use tools in their hands a lot we all day. I know this guy, now you're saying <laughs> yeah, you've, yeah, you've no, got a family, I'm not saying, yeah. They often yeah. stereotype, but I see it a lot. They just grab it in their fist. They're like yeah. a power, like, hold it. Um, and then when you ask them, like you correctly said, just to get the right hand on top, I've had no success because what they do is they just start yanking their shoulder over because yeah, yeah. they're still trying to keep it in that part of their yeah. palm. Yeah. Where I say to them, just like more like a, you'd put a pencil almost right in the tips, just feel it right in the bottom of your fingers. They go, oh yeah, that feels more comfortable, which I think is a really good point. Good stuff, guys. There we go. So he can change or he cannot. Mm -hmm. Zach Johnson, kind of strongish grip, handle forwards. They, those kind of players use lots of body rotation, so he's going to have to make sure he tries to keep that up to get the handle forward. Or maybe try a few more textbook neutral grips. There's loads of good grip videos out on, on the web. I've got some and loads of other good pros have done some. Watch them to find out. If you don't know Archie, I'm pretty sure he looks experienced. He'll know where a neutral grip is. But if you do the neutral grip, like Matt says, you need to be feeling like the head's catching up with the handle at the bottom. Lots of people don't like that for because they use the word casting. Again, like we said in other videos, it's just a sentence. No, I'm not saying to people just chuck all the angles away because no one ever does that. But you might need to feel that. And if you feel that and it lines impact up and distance is the same and dynamic loft is better, then I feel like you're casting. It's just a yeah. sentence to try and make them hit a better impact position. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Happy, Steve? Uh, over the moon. Thank you for bringing the beard with you today. It's a pleasure always to... Oh, <laughs> I touched it. It's, it's alive. Soft, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the fashion episode of the show with the bearded man. And thank you, Matt, for coming along as well. Speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.